Denied entry into the classroom because she prefers women. That's what a prospective Illinois teacher says happened to her. She was offered a job at a Springfield Catholic school, but says the job was hers when they pulled it off the table after learning she was gay. Lauren White says it all started when she applied to be a French teacher at Sacred Heart Griffin Catholic High School in Springfield. She said she got a good vibe during the interview, was offered and then accepted the position, but she says less than 10 minutes later, the president of the high school called and said the school would need more time to consider. The school then rescinded the offer. I was physically signing the contract and she just kind of said, so I, so you mentioned your fiance in the interview, congratulations, um, is he from Jacksonville, is what she asked me. And um, so I said, well actually, um, she is from, and then <laughs> went off of that and I could see her face just drop. Those in the LGBTQ plus community and Peoria say experiences like that are an unfortunate but consistent reality. Caitlin Pearson spoke with a board member of Peoria Proud, also an openly gay pastor, about bridging the gap between faith and sexuality. Caitlin? Tyler, Caitlin, employees in Illinois are protected by state law from workplace discrimination stemming from their sexual orientation and gender identity. But Reverend Josh Lee, a pastor at Imago Dei Church in Peoria, says religious institutions are often exempt from these rules. He says the separation of church and state allows religious institutions to bypass workplace discrimination laws outlined by the state, including the choice not to hire someone because of their sexual lifestyle. He says this case downstate is just one example of why people often don't come out to their coworkers or their boss because they are afraid that they're going to be discriminated against uh, for a lack of a promotion or the opportunity to uh, move up, you know, in, in their workplace or to not have the respect of their coworkers. And I, I think the challenge with that is that uh, religious institutions oftentimes, uh, because they don't take public dollars, they kind of get to do their own thing. And uh, unfortunately, that means that there, a lot more work has to be done to change hearts and minds of people. Of the U.S. states, 21 have laws against the discrimination of employees based on their sexuality. Lee believes there are strong progressive movements within several Christian churches to accept those who identify in the LGBTQ community. He says while being a gay pastor can rock the boat, it starts a much-needed conversation.